Hello everybody, welcome to a Let's Play Ragnarok Restart. And today we are in Orc Fields like always, and we're just going to kill things for about 10 minutes, and then I'll end the video like that. So, so I've been doing this thing on Twitter where I just follow everybody on the Ragnarok Online page, and then I usually get some follows backs, and then for the rest of them I use this app that unfollows everybody that doesn't follow me so it's just an easier way to unfollow people I guess it's been, instead of spending 10 minutes trying to unfollow everyone that doesn't follow you you can just use this app and it's really great but we're level 72 and um, planning on getting at least 10% in 10 minutes that's a percent every minute or so so it would take about an hour and 30 minutes just to level up in this dungeon. So that's kind of crazy. But uh, yeah. Um, that's just Iro for you though. You know, you're going to be leveling up on monsters most of the time. And I wish. I wish they'll implement PvP eventually, or maybe there is a PvP, but I just don't know about it. Either way, I'm probably not fit to go into PvP right now, based off my damage and the fact that I don't have Bullying Bash yet. And I looked for the Neuralizer on the cash shop, and I couldn't find it. Maybe you have to have a Silver Vine box to, to use it. I'm not really sure what the purpose of silver vine boxes are. All I know is that if you buy a bunch of them, you can sell them for a really good amount of zinni. So they must be worth something. Maybe if you double click them, they open up a different menu where you can use your points. I'm not sure what, what they are. But I've just been selling them, so... That's, uh... That's cool. But yeah, so, uh... I uploaded three full vi uh, videos yesterday. I mean, I was a f fiend. I uploaded three whole videos. I usually upload like once every couple days. So that's a huge improvement for me. And, uh. Yeah, so. Now I'm uploading a new video for you. It's kind of the same old, same old, but maybe I can tell you a couple stories just to make time by, time go by a little bit. Um, let's see here. I remember one time I got so stoned that I was up against the wall after I took a hit, and I just completely like. My body just collapsed and I was just on the ground. It was so funny. Everyone started laughing whenever that happened. But we we had this uh oh what's it called? Uh it's like a bong you make out of a two liter. Can't, gravity bong, that's what it was. And man, that thing had some milky hits for sure. I think uh, in a couple years I might be moving to Oregon. So, I might post some videos of me smoking a little herb with the video of Ragnarok. I think that'd be kind of a cool combination. Or, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. It was just kind of funny at the time. And, uh, I'm from Oklahoma, so we were headed to an Oklahoma State basketball game, which we ended up losing. Very sad. This was a few years ago, and uh, we had a blunt like this long. That thing was filled with like seven grams of some good, and we smoked all of it on our way down to the game. We were in Oklahoma City, so we were driving down to Stillwater. And man, that was probably really like intense. It was intense. I don't remember it that well because I was so stoned, but. I know that was a fun basketball game. <laughs> and I remember the 
first time I ever got high. I, uh, well, it was late in the night, so I just was handed a bowl. And whenever I lit it, tried to light it, I, I held it up to my mouth backwards. That's how high I was. It was crazy. Oh man, good times. But, uh, yeah, those, that was some good times smoking weed with my friends and my brother. Good times. But, I guess that's the end of the story time. For now, we're just going to focus on riding around. And, uh, you know, you would think, like, some people think that marijuana gives you cancer. I know it's strange, right? But it's killed zero people, but some people think it gives you cancer. And, uh, that's a huge myth, I think. I don't think it does anything to the body other than maybe a little excess dopamine for a while, for about two hours. So, the THC is a cannabinoid. You have cannabinoids in your brain. Rece cannabinoid receptors in your brain. So, it's like our body it was physically made to smoke cannabis. There were parts of the brain just for that sort of pleasure that you get from smoking weed. So, uh, it's natural, it's grown out of the ground, it's just a nerve. So now that everyone thinks I'm a huge pothead, let's continue with the Ragnarok Online video. I'm liking my Majora's card because it allows me to mob huge amounts of, uh, orc, high orcs because then they uh, get confused and I have a little time to recuperate from killing one of them and use an HP potion. So yeah, it really does help. And uh, wow, this is crazy. Never thought I'd have a successful YouTube channel. 107 subscribers, that's pretty damn good. But on my other YouTube channel that I post music videos on, that thing's got like a thousand. And it's not my fault that, the, that it's a thousand. I didn't do it. It was the artist that I, I put on the YouTube page. They deserve all that. But uh, I guess I'm the one that reaped the benefits from that with a thousand subscribers. Now, if only I could get this channel to get a thousand subscribers, that would be amazing. Uh, but, can't always do everything right in order to get that 1,000 subscribers. Gotta figure out where your flaws are in your videos and try to fix them. And, but you know me, I, I have a high ego. All my videos are perfect. <laughs> well, the ones that don't have any likes probably aren't perfect, but in my head they are. Like my babies. Each video is artfully crafted by me. Okay, maybe not that deep, but you know what I'm trying to say. I really like my videos and I think you should do because that is what I do for my free time. And I have it's basically a never ending summer here. Because I don't have a job, I'm not going to school, I don't have a car, I'm locked in all day, and there's nothing left to do but to make videos. I got a computer or a laptop. And I got a camera. And I got Fraps and Magix 14. So that's what I'm, that's basically the main thing I do now. So if I could somehow break through people 
don't even know about me right now, but it's up to you guys to help me become successful at YouTube and successful on Twitter. I now have 14 followers, which is pretty good for me. Uh, back in college, I had 28 followers on my personal account, so I'm about halfway from my glory days in college, which I didn't graduate from because I smoked too much weed whenever I should have been studying and stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching my video. And as well, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Alright, thanks everyone. Peace.